In this video, we're going to be using McDuff Soap Company Birch Plus Root and the Timeless Aluminum Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I am your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we have a good one for you today because today we are using a great smelling soap. This is McDuff Soap Company Birch Plus Root. And let's start with the cost. This is $19.99 for 4.23 ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is a fair price of $4.72 an ounce. We give that a score of three out of five. The scent on this is awesome if you like root beer. I'm gonna put the scent description or notes for you on the screen right there. It is a very nice root beer type scent. So if you like root beer, this is almost assuredly gonna be a winner. If you don't, it probably won't, but I love it. I give it a score of five out of five in scent quality. It just really, really gives you that really nice root beer scent and I like it a lot. The scent strength on this is definitely uh, medium, the far end of medium, I would call it. I give it a score of 4.5 out of 5 in scent strength. You can't miss it. It just hits you right in the face with that root beer scent and I like it a lot. This is in McDuff's version 4 tallow base. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Very good quality soap and I've, I've found that each time I use McDuff's I get a little bit better at lathering it. This time um, it was no problem whatsoever. I developed a nice creamy lather rather easily. I'll show you the lather right there. Uh, this one was pretty firm. I got one McDuff soap and it was super soft and almost goopy and I didn't enjoy it. But since then, every one I've gotten has been really nice. I give it a score of 4.5 out of 5 in ease of use. Each time it's gotten a little bit easier for me. So we look forward to using this today because this is really an awesome soap in my opinion and I'm really looking forward to it. The Aluminum razor we have here today is the Timeless. I believe the model on this one is ALSB45. It is $75. It also comes with a stand, so you don't get nickel and dimed for the stand, which is pretty awesome. It has a 0.45 blade gap, but it manages to still feel fairly efficient. It's made in the United States of aluminum at Timeless, and it's really, really nice. I haven't used it for a long time, and uh, I was looking at it when I was home. I was like, you know, I'm going to take that Timeless Aluminum Razor. It's been a long time, so we look forward to using this today. The blade is Gillette Nasset on its second use. So, without further ado, let's get into the shave today. We'll start, as always, by misting the face. And I remind you, I will link the products that are available below. Sometimes they sell out, so keep that in mind. But I will link them below for your convenience, as well as lather tutorial. Because I get asked pretty often, you know, why don't you show your lathering on the video well the answer is to save time but i have lather tutorials uh, always below in the description of the video and we have a very nice lather today as mentioned before with the mcduffs and that is going to be good stuff right there you can see that just hanging off there i've got a lot of hydration in it we wanted to really push it today and see you know how it could handle water and this is just a fine soap there's no question about it like i said other than that one experience which was kind of a outlier um, it's been nice because i remember when i did that one you know, J Mac and B. Lou and Lyle and all of them were like, you got to learn how to lather McDuff's, eh? You know, <laughs> they were like, oh, no one can have trouble, problem, problem with McDuff's. It lathers itself practically. And uh, that one just didn't. That one just did not work well for me. Or it was, it did end up working, but it was annoying. But since then, I've had, you know, maybe three and they've all been great. And the ones prior to that one was great too. So, that one may have just been brand new and was super, super soft. I just, I'm not a big fan of uh, soft. I call them almost goopy, almost like, um, you know, like conditioner. If you poured it out of a uh, tube, I, I mean, it's been years since I've used con hair conditioner, you know, like shampoo conditioner. Um, it was very, very soft of that consistency. And I don't, I don't typically care too much for that, but I have not had that experience Again, and this smells great. And it, again, this is one you can't miss a scent strength wise. It is, it is definitely medium high, I would call it. All right. This should be a fun one today because McDuff's is, again, definitely a good quality soap. You're not gonna have any issues with quality on McDuff's. 
it's going to be plenty slick and provide all the things that you need for the shave and if you shave well then you'll get a great shave with McDuff's and that feels nice it's amazing how much blade feel you get from this timeless aluminum you know the blade gap is low but the exposure must be you know there must be a fair amount because you can definitely get the blade feel now I caution that those of you who are new and even veteran shavers do not focus strictly on blade gap and blade exposure. Those are not the only elements that determine a razor's efficiency. So they're just things that oftentimes the razor maker publishes and sometimes they don't. Like Carve, I don't think they publish their Christopher Bradley series, blade gaps and all that stuff. Uh, or if they do, I didn't see it on the website. Uh, so if they do, I apologize. And honestly, there's no need to. Um, because you can just sort of experiment and find the blades that you like. But this one is 0.45 and the problem with publishing is, I think a lot of people would see that 0.45 blade gap and go, oh no, that's way too mild for me. But trust me, when you get this razor, it is not going to feel like your typical 0.45 blade gap. It, it does not. Because this 0.45 is gonna feel more efficient than some of the 0.84s. Like for example, the Game Changer, 0.84, this one feels more blade feely or efficient, if you will. So keep that in mind. The blade gap doesn't always tell you the tail. It's just one unit of measure, you know. So just keep that in mind. But I tell you what, that was nice. Soap, very slick, as I would expect. It is a good quality soap out of Canada. Um, McDuff's. They have, they have some nice scents. I think this and the cream soda was also awesome. So they do really great soda <laughs> type scents, McDuff's. Both of them have been complete home runs for me scent-wise. Um, very, very nice indeed. So the, for those of you who have been following along, so far my mother is doing well. She got the uh, stem cell transplant the other day and, you know, everything is looking good so far. There can be some reactions to that. So it's a long recovery. You know, we're just waiting to, to hope it does its job the way it's supposed to and it takes lack of a better term but so far things have been pretty good uh, we, we you know expect there might be some bumps in the road but we're hopeful and our fingers are crossed fingers toes and everything <laughs> but thank you for your a lot of people check in and everything and I really appreciate that all right excellent man sometimes it's just fun to paint the lather on your face it just feels good to do it it's kind of therapeutic, you know? And so when, when sometimes folks ask, you know, why does he make videos every day and shave every day? It's, it's for that reason, it's therapeutic. You get to sort of talk and air your thoughts. And it just feels nice to, to uh, apply the lather to your face, to make the lather, to execute the shave. And it's just great. I know some people, you know, I'll get comments, um, not super often, but from people who say they can't shave every day and uh, I believe you if you say you can't, but it makes me wonder, you know, I know for the first, I don't know, 10 or so years of my career, I had jobs that was, um, you weren't allowed to have a beard or anything like that. And I had to shave every day. That was, you know, part of the grooming standard. And it makes me wonder, you know, how people would, if you were in the military, let's say I was, you had to shave. There was no, you can't, couldn't have a beard. You could have a mustache, but uh, you couldn't have a beard. And um, you know, people find a way, I guess, in those circumstances because the job di dictates it. But I find you just have to crack the code and find what works best. So, for example, if I were shaving this way on my neck or this way, I would be, it would be weeper city and irritation every day. I don't do that. And so part of it, part of daily shaving is figuring out what your skin will tolerate and how you can, you know, do the things and treat it nicely so it will treat you nicely. So that's part of the equation is just sort of simply figuring out what you can do and cannot do. And for me, this motion or this motion on the neck is a no. It'll be weepers, it'll be irritation, it'll be creepers, it, it will be not good. And so I learned that early on. It did take me long. And so as you're mapping your growth, meaning figuring out which way the growth, growth goes and all that, you really have to experiment. So no one, even the most senior shavers can tell you what's going to work best for you. Um, there is a tremendous amount of experimentation involved. And once you get it, you know, the, the work is uh, that you've done to reach the point where it's really nice is worth the effort of 
trial and error. You know, there is a little bit of work involved, but it's not heavy lifting and this is not rocket science. So if I can do it, you can do it. All right. Third pass here. That's really nice. The soap today has been phenomenal. Just absolutely a pleasure to use. No problems whatsoever with it. Great quality. So again, I would say the quality on this, five out of five. No, I don't think it lacks for anything in quality. It compares very favorably with the other top brands of the day in terms of, uh, you know, what you need, providing a very slick platform for the razor to glide on. So if you haven't tried McDuff's, I recommend you give it a shot. And uh, in America, they're, they're uh, sold from the razor company. So you can get them. That's where I gotten all my McDuff soaps from the razor company. And of course you're in Canada, you can get them there and they might be available other places as well. Man, that is nice. It smells great too. Just reminds me of having like a root beer float or something like that. <laughs> Back in the day where you could still get them. Um, we don't see those available here much, or at least in the places where I am. We used to have these A&W, you know, A&W root beer restaurants and they served root beer floats and pretty awesome. But I uh, don't see those much anymore. I'm sure they still exist, but just they're not where I am typically. All right, last pass. I haven't spoken much about the razor today, but I tell you what, don't let the poor, don't let the .45 blade get fool you because this one has some decent efficiency. In fact, I remember when I first tried the Henson and I put this razor up against the Henson. This one is definitely more efficient than the Henson. Even, you know, even the medium Henson, this one was definitely more efficient when I used them side by side. And it's lightweight as you would expect being aluminum made in the United States. If you're a veteran uh, and you order from Timeless, they'll give you a free gift, which is cool of Timeless. And I tell you what, just very nice overall razor. Again, this one was $75, but it comes with a stand as well. And I, I know a lot of people buy the stands extra. So if you figure that in the price, it's, it's not bad. It's definitely well made. And the folks at Timeless machine it themselves. Um, so very nice razor. And I've gotten a really nice shade with it today. So everything has just clicked along the way it's supposed to today, or at least so far. So we, we hope we'll finish this one up strong and just close out a really excellent and pleasant shave. And it's really a great way to start the day. And so I hope for those of you who are morning shavers, every day for you is like me, where I'm just like, man, I got a great shave. It's awesome, you know. All right, terrific. No gripes or grievances to air today. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No necks, guts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we taught off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with McDuff's Soap Company, Birch Plus Root, and we will run down the scores for you. Cost, three out of five. Scent quality, five out of five. Scent strength, 4.5 out of five. Ease of use, 4.5 out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. And that brings us to a total score of 22 out of 25. If you like root beer scents, get this one. It's really, really good. And I enjoyed it today. We also enjoyed using our Timeless Aluminum Razor. This is the ALSB 45. Don't let the 0.45 blade gap fool you. This is still a nice, efficient aluminum razor. $75 made in the USA and it comes with a stand. So check out the good folks at Timeless if you please. We used our Ariane and Evan synthetic brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we will finish it off today, once again, with fine platinum. And we are slowly working through this one. We've, we've, been, we've been, easy for you to say, <laughs> we've been going heavy with the applications and trying to really use a lot just to get rid of this one because we've had it a long time and these splashes are starting to pile up. So it's like, let's go heavy on these. Let's, let's go for another round. Why not double splash today? May as well, it's Thursday for me, Friday where you are. So happy Friday, by the way. All right, excellent shave today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, your shave, do your way. And as always, God bless.